Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And this game is over between Tampa Bay and Virginia Tech, with Virginia Tech prevailing 93 to 64. And I'm here to show you the final stats. Tampa Bay tried to make a bit of a comeback in the third quarter, but it was too little too late. But Tampa Bay still did well on the offensive side of the ball. Hey, this time they at least got into the positives for the yardage. Then again, it helps the fact that Virginia Tech took the stars out right at the beginning of the third quarter due to the game being so out of reach. Yeah, they ran the ball 76 times. Tampa Bay threw the ball 76 times. And so, yeah. Bowles got sacked eight times. Tampa Bay did not convert a single third down from the end of the th from the end of the second quarter all the way to the end of the game. Meanwhile, Virginia Tech was able to actually convert the third downs. Tampa Bay went for it twice on fourth down, and they had three two point conversions. And that's something that Tampa Bay is definitely going to have to work on throughout the year. Is winning, is scoring in the red zone. Because if you can't score in the red zone, then you're going to end up losing a lot of games. Also, calm down on the turnovers. 15 turnovers, 6 fumbles. But yet, see Virginia Tech had 6 themselves. 3 turnover, 3 fumbles, and 3 picks. Meanwhile... Tampa Bay had six fumbles and nine picks, 181 punt return yards for 54, 232 yards to 94. I mean, Virginia Tech punted the ball more, yet they end up winning. <laughs> Crazy how that works. And they got another holding penalty call on them, but they got the time of possession. Yeah, Matthews kind of threw a few more passes, though. And then in came Scott Hodge, who went 2 for 7 for 4 yards, and threw 2 picks, and got sacked 6 times. But William Brown definitely stepped up. 22 attempts for 152 yards and 3 touchdowns. Then Allen... Rosano had six carries for 15 yards. Joe Bali had the most. Yep. Yeah, they just stopped passing the ball, really, for the most part. John Sharp finishes with 10 tackles, leading the team. Leader in tackles for loss. Still, Byram and Morris. Morris had three sacks. I know she had another pick six. So, yeah, you know, a lot of bad throws that they forced. Byram still led the forced fumbles. McCoy led the fumble recoveries. Daniel Barber. Didn't kick another field goal for the rest of the game. Meanwhile, Curtis only had had 13 punts, like it showed. Four kick returns, long of 28. And not that much of a punt return. Meanwhile, Tim Jones has the highest quarterback rating, and he completed only one pass. And Randall... He got replaced after throwing four picks. Then Jacob Bishop came in, went to have 29, 160 yards, but threw four picks himself. And it's like, at this point, all right, screw it. We'll throw in the third stringer. Tyrone Moore had a pick himself as well. So, literally, the only guy not to throw a pick was the wide receiver. Adrian Sullivan ends up getting 100 yards. Ryan Parham also got nine yards as well. But Bishop and Randall, especially Randall, kind of killed all that. 
Tim Jones had 11 catches for 198 yards and a touchdown. Jeremy Steele had 6 catches for 50 yards. Brandon White, 5 catches for 111 yards. John Buckley, 3 catches for 111 yards and a touchdown. See, they kind of pass the ball a good bit around, which is good to see from a team. Okay. Although, basically, well, three people in their offensive line and their halfback allowed sacks. But Marcus Sullivan had 13 tackles, Nate Richardson had 12, same as Justin Williams, and Nate Hardy had 11. Van Burden had 7 tackles for a loss. Marcus Sullivan had three sacks. Nate Hardy, Jason Sanders, and Dwayne Crosby all got interceptions. And Crosby's was a pick six. Crosby kind of did it all. He he recovered a fumble, had a pick, four tackles, one of them for a loss. So he was kind of the do-it-everything player today. Kendrick Durfee had the one field goal. You know, not the best, but yeah. Brandon White, he returned a kickoff, 93 yards for a touchdown. And Tim Jones returned two punts for a touchdown, longest being 62 yards. So Tim Jones was kind of like the player of the game, essentially, for Tampa Bay. But yeah, after that pick six well after that field goal I stopped recording in which yeah as you can see third quarter got a bit crazy 78 yard pick six happened then the 43 yard field goal and then a 22 yard touchdown pass so yeah damp yeah that was when the starters got replaced for Virginia Tech Brown returned. Brown got an 87 yard run. Then this is when White got the kickoff return for the touchdown. Then Crosby had the pick six. Then punt return by Jones. And this is when they went for two first time around. Then Sullivan ran for 75 yards for a touchdown. Then a scoop and score for Tampa Bay. And that was basically like their last score for a while. Then seven yard run by Brown. Oh, Tampa Bay actually got a safety. Okay. Looks like we got then Jones got another punt return. And then Brown basically put the final dagger in. But yeah, I didn't know they got a safety. So who got the safety for them? Marcus Sullivan, okay. So that's the end of this game. Let's see if the game will actually save, though. That's kind of my big thing on this. It's like, will it actually save? Or will it act or will I have to do that game all over again and this is just a recording? Hey, it's actually gonna save. Wonderful. Yes. Save and I will go ahead and do the pregame for the Mickey and Boston College game, and I will see you all next time.